We're no longer talking a uh, fringe conspiracy theorist, but rather a futurist collective of hundreds of truly heavyweights are saying humanity, let's take a deep breath, don't panic, but panic. AI is becoming a risk. Is the world prepared for the uh, AI storm? Well, it is not well prepared. It is not prepared at all, hmm. actually. And if you've Ooh, seen uh, some of the headlines, <laughs> <laughs> and if you've if you've seen some of the headlines in the recent months, then we can definitely say that the storm is right here. Hmm. Uh, AI has been fast speeding up uh, its development, and there is actually an arm race between the largest companies in the world competing against each other in developing the largest and most efficient LLM long, long large language models this is the ai that we're witnessing mm. and the unintended consequences this is what these people are uh, afraid and for a good reason so but, but, but you know with all good intentions can there really be a binding global decision to put a stop or is it too late now uh did the ai train you know leave the station especially as you're saying it's a competition between you know private companies at the end of the day yeah, so the train has definitely left the station and it is spread all around the globe. So imagining uh, a way to stop them all uh, for the same reasons probably sounds as hard as it should be. Yeah. Uh, but on on the other hand, let uh, on the other hand, let let think about uh, nuclear arms race. Right, this has been stopped or at least uh, confined to a noticeable degree by global treaties so if ish, we understand ish, how the we... mutually assured destruction notion is being challenged day in day out in, indeed indeed but we do see uh, major restraints over the spread of nuclear uh, weapons and uh, you, you could say iran and other places but it's not as if anybody develops it as much as they, as, they, as they want and there is a global price to be paid if you go there right um so let's understand that artificial intelligence is not just yet another technology is as impactful and as strong at least as much as computers are in sense of thinking of what computers have done to the history of mankind and to the economic reality around the world okay you cannot imagine you cannot compare mm. uh history before and after computers this is what ai is bringing upon us at least the same amplitude of change of disruption to everybody's life <sighs> to everybody's work Yes, indeed. And we're talking about doctors and lawyers and architects and designers and business people and content people such as ourselves and many, many, many more. Uh, I've just uh, seen a report saying that 300 million positions might be at risk wow. due to AI. Or, or we could also see it different way, uh, differently that many other millions would have the benefits of enjoying AI as an amazing uh, productivity tool. Uh, so there are, there, this challenge has many faces, yeah. uh, and it is definitely a good time to stop and think about it before. We're going to uh, have to uh, face the unintended consequences. Yeah, and uh, you know, the, the only way to try and imagine the world uh, post the AI revolution is as if thinking about, I don't know, a man in the 50s, and you, will, you would have told him that uh, you'll, you could send mail uh, across, the, across continents in a matter of, of seconds. It, it, science fiction now for them. But, but before we let you go, uh, Mr. Globerman, uh, allow me to get a bit more philosophical here. Maybe it's a profound call to rethink our, our thinking, as in there are no science studies and social studies. They're intertwined. More simply, you cannot differentiate between technology and ethics. There cannot and, and shouldn't be progress without a substantial moral debate. Indeed. And you know what? Uh, one of the challenges here is that, as you said, in order to uh, debate this in an intelligent way, you should be kind of a scholar. You should be quite acquainted with many fields of uh, data and science in, uh, intertwine, uh, and intertwine and, and the multidisciplinary way. Uh, it's quite a challenge for everyone. Uh, but you know what? Let's look at, at another field that has been restrained uh, globally, and this is a uh, human cloning, right? Yeah. Technically, it's possible. As far as I know, nobody's doing that. Uh, so we do have the ability to take control over technologies. It is hard. It needs some uh, lots of uh, lots of intent. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the danger is great. Also the the, the uh, yeah. uh, uh, advantage. So we should go there. We should go there.